Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living in return with having. When I'm looking through my video channel that belongs solely and singly to me, I find that the liars of the community have been abusing me. What I mean is that they have used their computers, they have used their hacking ways, they have used their cell phones to ruin my days. And what that means is that as far, far back as I can see, someone's been removing photographs that I've been putting on my work. At the same time, they've been taking away my marketing minutes of which I was doing for my life. I didn't ask anyone to touch my video channel. I didn't ask people in the staple shop to ruin my social media accounts. But someone has done that, and they've used their EF Moran security people and the liars of the land to do that. There's a player who's pretending to be an employee of the Dollar Tree. And the more that I listen to his little shtick, the more that I hear his bullshit, I realize he's just an officer pretending to be something he's not. His name is probably a lie because, according to him, the girls that have introduced themselves are not using the right name. And allegedly, in this state of Illinois, they have the right to be just a number in a restaurant if they're a server or if they're some sort of a uh, alcoholic beverage deliverer. And I presume that's for their own safety. It's for, I presume that's so that they don't get hit on. But you know what? I think it's dumb. What I feel is that people have a responsibility to their life. They have a responsibility to what they say. And I say all kinds of things under the guise, not at all, under the employment, not at all, but under the profession of being a journalism major. And as a journalism major, meaning someone who actually has a degree in journalism, and it's of course the fucking sheriff in Indiana just decided to ruin all my records because family couldn't keep their mouth shut on a predicament for me. But what I can say to you is that my family is my family of choice today, not my biological bloodline family. There is no person left in that family that I need in my life today. As much as I am upset about what they've been doing in terms of taking, selling, abusing, uh, ruining my property in a security storage unit, none of them had the right to do it. You see, contract law always applies. And contract law applies to the name on the contract, you motherfucking used storage shop and fishers, not to the fishers police, and not to someone in my family who just happens to be helping my mom to pay a bill for me. But here's the reality. The more that my siblings continue to fuck my life, my late siblings that is, all it did was make life more strife for me. It didn't teach me one fucking lesson other than the fact that they're liars and thieves of my life and property. You see, none of them had the right to touch any of that. None of them had the right to touch my mail. None of them had the right to touch my birth certificates coming from this state that I was born in. None of them had the right to touch me medically. None of them had the right to talk to people I was seeing while my father was dying. None of them had the right to do that, but they all overstepped the lines of propriety. They all overstepped the lines of our health care system. They all overstepped the lines of HIPAA. They all overstepped the lines by stealing content, stealing business cards, stealing information, stealing phone numbers, and doing things to me that they had no lawful right to do. So when I say to you I have no family members like that left, it's true. But here's the other thing. I'm a man of 53. And as a man of 53, I went off and built my own family. I went off to Japan, I fell in love, and I found someone who was just right for me at that time. And we came back and we built a marvelous life for our family. I ran a language school, I ran some marketing projects, I did a lot in my community. And while I didn't necessarily get the Pioneer Award like my father or one of my siblings, I still did my thing. But what I see is that some monster is going into my video channel and deleting things, taking off content that I didn't ask them to do. So what I ask and I propose and I challenge YouTube to do is tell me who the fuck they're allowing to touch my video channel today. Because if it's somebody like uh, Russell Brownson, or if it's one of these uh, assholes who keeps playing up in my Facebook channel when I've turned them off, I want to know why that is today. Because no offense, I don't need to hear some millionaire tout himself and walk around his house and act like he's doing something for me. He's not. My time is valuable. Your time is valuable. The most valuable thing another person gives you is their time. But the most important thing to someone's love line, the most important thing in their life, is usually their time with their family. So while I went off to create a new family, and when that family was starting to come to a close, God brought into my life some impre impressive women who were supposed to really pick that up 
and be with me to the close. But they have failed God. They failed to listen. They failed to hear. And their children are really in despair. But they're not wise enough. They're not witty enough. Is not true. They are. But they chose free will. And when they chose free will, they stepped away from God. 